everyone, Ryan Hall. Uh, we've been doing a little series on post-spawn and getting ready for the summertime bite because realistically, after we come out of this quarantine from the coronavirus, uh, it's going to be summertime and we're going to be fishing summertime patterns. So uh, let's get everybody tuned up so that way we know what we want to buy and what we need to buy and, 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 and tips that can help us before we get out on the water that time of year. Um, one of my favorite ways and probably, in my opinion, the best way to catch big bass on the Delta or Clear Lake or wherever you're fishing shallow is flipping. Um, it's close quarters, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and a complete mayhem for anywhere from two to six seconds. And uh, I feel like uh, it's probably my best way to catch a big bite this time of year and throughout the summer and into the fall. And that's uh, flipping and punching. So I wanted to run over what I'm using, my gear, um, and kind of maybe dive into what I'm targeting as well. So we're going to start with the gear because you don't want to go out and start punching. You don't want to get out into this heavy cover and come in underpowered or way overpowered with a, with a, you know, a broomstick. Um, so we'll start with the rod. It's easy choice for me. This is a Dobbins rod. This is a Champion Extreme, Champion HP 795 flip rod. Super light. Um, it's got a light tip, lightweight, but it's got a ton of backbone on it. And, and so you can get those fish out of there. Um, I use this rod right here. Um, this is for flipping grass or flipping toolies at Clear Lake when I want to, you know, use a half, you know, to a, a one ounce weight. And so this is my setup. Um, down to the reel. I like to use a very high speed reel at the fastest I can get. Um, this one just happens to be a Daiwa Tatula in an eight to one. Uh, I know they just came out with a 10 to one. And so I'll be buying that one uh, very soon. The line, 65 to 80 pound braid. Um, whatever you like to use, whether it's Power Pro, Seaguar, Spider Wire, you name it, it's all good stuff. Um, just get some heavy braid on there. Um, and then down to the, the meat and potatoes of it. And a lot of people, they, they want to know the baits. They want to know what, what to flip and, and what type of baits and how they should decide what's a good flip bait. Um, for me, when I'm flipping grass or when I'm flipping, you know, lighter stuff with this 795, I use a Exxon Lures Finesse Muscle Back Crawl. It's a three and a half inch bait, roughly. Um, it's really slender and it's the claws on it actually float, but they actually, they, they really kick nicely when that bait's falling. And if you decide to let it sit on the bottom for just a split second, those pinchers are gonna stand straight up. Um, when I mentioned slender, the reason you want a slender bait is so it, could go, it goes through the, the canopy that you're flipping very easily. The wider baits that you get tend to get hung up on the top a lot versus where these real skinny inline baits like that, it just follows the weight. So when that weight goes through, your bait's going through. You don't have any extra work. You're not sitting there trying to shake it and get it through a mat um, as much. You're just get it in there, get it down. Um, I also use a Gamagatsu. This is a four aught. I use three and four aught hooks. This is a super heavy cover punch hook right here. It comes in a bunch of sizes, uh, metal keeper with heat shrink around it. So it keeps the bait up there nice. It's a Gamagatsu hook, so you know it's razor sharp, thin, and extra strong. Um, so, and that is vital because a lot of times when you're down and tangled in weeds or around timber or whatever, um, you don't always get the perfect hook set on them. So the thin diameter of this hook and how sharp it is is going to get you penetration very easily. Um, the weight, you got to have a tungsten weight. Depending on what you're flipping, you can be anywhere from a half to up to a two ounce weight and, you know, even higher, you know. Um, I use Picasso tungsten. This is their new gunmetal finish right there. Um, it doesn't chip. I've been flipping this weight and the weights on my other punch and flip rods all year. And I've caught 100 fish easily. And uh, there's not a tooth mark, not a chip on it. And they last forever. Um, very dense. They come through the, the canopy real easy. Um, and it, it's not a huge big profile like lead would be. It's just all around better performing with that Picasso tungsten. Um, so that's my setup, nothing special, you know, get a bait that matches your forage. Um, where I'm going to flip this, like I mentioned earlier, uh, toolies, timber, grass, canopies. On the Delta right now, there's a lot of primrose, even that thick mining stuff, you need to drop through it. It's a little scary and intimidating, um, and there's a lot of it everywhere, but drop through it, you know, cover some water and find where the better areas are. And really, once you find them, slow down, they're going to be congregated there. Um, so with that being said, go get yourself a nice flip and punch setup like this one. Uh, if you're flipping grass or anything like that, 
and uh, some Exxon and Gamagatsu and Picasso and uh, go to town and have yourself the time of your life because this is a great way to catch, you know, 10 plus pounder any time of the year. So check it out, guys. Thank you.